What's happening, guys? It's Flo. I'm here with Sly. So Sharif O'Neal signs with the G League Ignite. He signs a contract with them after a stint with the Lakers during the Summer League. Sly, do you think it's a good move by the kid? Yeah, man. Honestly, to tell you the truth, we really didn't see a lot from him, man. That guy hardly played, man. He When he did play, he was pretty solid, you know, but he just didn't get the opportunity to play. So, I mean, maybe they see something in him. Um... A lot of people are saying because obviously Shaq's his dad, man. That's the reason he got this chance. I don't know, man. I think he's got some talent to him. Uh, you would like to see him play more, but that was kind of weird how he already played. But uh, what do you think about this whole situation? Yeah, man. He definitely does have some talents. He has the like physical characteristics to be good. Tall, lengthy, pretty quick actually too for that size. But he just needs a lot more uh, development. I think this is a good route for him. The G League Knight is what essentially just a... Uh, G League team, but it's like they're kind of marquee team and they actually really work with these young players to develop them. And that's what he needs because his game is really, really raw. And in the NBA, you can't just rely on athleticism because mm -hmm. pretty much everybody has that same kind of skill set as freak athletes. And it comes down to your fundamentals once you get to the pros. And I think it's good for him. Maybe he get another shot next year once he's in his second year playing with these guys. And I think he will have that shot because, let's face it, man, he is Shaq's son, like you said. So he, just that name alone is going to get him looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, like you said, he has that athletic prowess, man, where he's just an athletic freak. The only thing is, is he going to take his game to the next level? It's harder for a guy like him, you know, because let's be real, man, the, guy, the kid's rich. The kid has all the money in the world, and these other kids out there, they're striving, so they'll be playing basketball 24-7. Him, man, he could go drive his Lambo, do whatever the hell he wants, because this kid's set for life. Let's be real, man. His dad's making 30 commercials a day, and he's still working, man, and, you know, he's going to get a lot of that money uh, when Shaq's done, so I mean, is he going to want it? That's the question, man. It's really hard. I'm a boxing guy, man. That is a reason why a lot of these boxers' sons, when they try to do it, they just aren't don't have that motivation. You know, like Chavez Jr., whoever watches boxing, man, he never had that same motivation as his dad because the kid was rich as a little kid, so that motivation ain't there. So is he going to want it? I don't know, man. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, man. Pretty much, I think the only way he can really get motivated is just trying to follow in his dad's footsteps because you don't want to be that son kind of like you said Chavez Jr. Let's be real man that guy was an embarrassment to his dad and I think Sharif O'Neal really does want to be good at basketball but it's just going to be how bad do you really want to be good at basketball are you going to do those little things or those big things that you got to sacrifice to get to that level are you really going to be in the gym from 4 a.m. to 3 p.m. We always heard those stories like those guys like Kobe Jordan there's a reason they're that great because they put that time into it. Yeah, but let us know what you guys think, man. Do you think he eventually will make it to the NBA? Or do you think, you know, the reason he might be there right now is just because his dad. Let us know what you guys think, man. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Talk to you guys next time. Peace. Peace.